All right, so what we have in front of me right now is the Umarex Emerge. And you're like, what? It's, a, it's another one? But guess what? It's a brake barrel that actually has a magazine that gives you 12 shots. It comes in a 177 caliber. Shoots, uh, this one here is a, and a 22. This one is actually the 22. I'm going to unbox it and show you here what it looks like coming out of there. Uh, if you're shooting alloys, it's 1,000 feet per second. Uh, if you're shooting just regular lead pellets, you're looking at 825 feet per second. Uh, there's 12 rounds that you can actually carry in the magazine uh, that lines up right in the back. You just preload it, set it in there, you're ready to go. So that means every time that you break the barrel, every time you break the barrel and you bring it back up, it automatically indexes and loads another pellet in there for you. So you don't have to break it out, push a little pellet in there and go from there. So it's actually a good, run to, a good gun to keep around the house if you don't have a PCP or maybe you just need a pellet gun, something that's around from there. So any, depending on the type of pellets that you use, um, will depend on what the speed is. So if you're looking at, at 800 and you know 25 feet per second, if you use a heavier pellet, then it's gonna it's obviously gonna go a little bit slower from there. So it is a rifle barrel, and uh, and it does come with fiber optic sights that are on it, and it also comes with a 4x32 scope. So what I want to do is open this up. It's got the Silence Air technology on it too. So again, that quiets down the gun. I'll go ahead and pull this out, and I, when I say I'm unboxing it, I'm literally taking it out of the plastics. And, I, and, I, and if I can equate this gun, if I, if I will for you, if I can equate this to something or the look and feel of this, if you have the Umarex Sabre, um, if you have the Umarex, like any of those type of guns, the Origin or whatever, it has that, that close feel that you have when you hold it up to your shoulder and you shoulder the gun. It has that really close feel. It snugs up perfect to you. It's got a nice grip. Er ergonomically, it's actually built very well. Uh, and it works great. On top here, you have a Picatinny rail. So if you want to put a red dot on it, you can put a red dot on it. But to, to kind of take a look at here, when we talked about the talked about the brake barrel and the magazine, so we're going to take in here at the pop at the top. We pop it down. When I open that up, okay, and I hold it for safety purposes here, and I can slide the magazine off. At that point, if I want to close it back up, I snap it back into position. It's ready to go. The safety is actually located underneath here where the trigger system is to get it ready. But really the magic is here is in the, in the actual magazine itself. If you see how this operates, and we'll do a close up of this in a second. Um, I'm going to set this down. The, the magazine here, if you're getting kind of a close up on it, you can see uh, from the back as you load the pellets up inside there, you can index and move these around as it snaps into place before you get to loading. And it has a little magnet, so it kind of magnetizes as you set it into the barrel and lock it up. And this little indexing piece here, to take the top off if you want to, I'll have to turn it to this side to show you. There's a little arrow, so when you get done loading it, you're always going to bring it back to this arrow. To take this off, I'm going to rotate it, and that pops right off. So once you pop it off the top here, you just take your, all your pellets, load them into the magazine, you're good to go. And again, with that arrow up top, put that back on. Then we spin it back around and index it to there. And then we load it back into the gun when we're ready. All right, so I'm going to show you how to load this back onto the gun. Kind of the easiest way is if you think of it from here. I'll pick this up, pop the barrel back down. I've already got it cocked from here to show you on top. If you look at how this goes, you can see the bottom and the magnet locks up here. I'll take this and just slide it in on top. You see how easy that goes in? just locks right into place. Once I do that, all I have to do is close it up. From now, then I can fire the gun. I take the safety off, fire the gun. When I get ready to do it again, all I have to do is cock it, put it back into position, back up and fire the gun again. So the, the nice thing about it is the fact that you're not having to load every single time. The magazine will automatically index every time that you cock the gun. 12 shots, Umarex Emerge, Picatinny rail on top, 4x32 scope that goes with it. You're shooting at 825 feet per second with, with, your, uh, with your lead pellets as you're working with it. And this one is actually in 22 caliber. Okay, this has got the uh, turbo piston nitrogen technology that's inside of it. it. It's basically fill it up once, shoot it 12 times. That's how it works. If you guys are wondering, like, is, does it, do you have to put air in there anywhere? Anytime that you cock this, this barrel, you basically break this barrel over, boom. I cock it down here and bring it back into that position. This thing is ready to fire. You don't have to fill it up. That's how it cocks. All right, so I'm going to talk about the scope here. So let me just set the gun down here for a second. 
We'll pull the scope out just to show you guys. Pull everything apart. So Umarex 4x32 scope, it's not a multi-power, if you will, from there. It's just a 4x32 scope. Uh, it's got normal crosshairs in there, so you can line it up just like an old school. Uh, it does come with lens covers that you can put on here. Keep it from getting dust on the scope or scope covers, I guess, if you will. And you even get a scope cloth that goes along with that. The other question people have is does it come with scope rings? It does come with scope rings. So you can take the scope rings here, it mounts up on a Picatinny. If you have a red dot, you can put it on top too. So if you don't want to run with the 4x32, you can also put a red dot on top of there. Anything that attaches to a normal Picatinny rail works great. Comes with scope rings, scope, nice little cloth that goes from there, and you can mount it up to the gun. Like literally within 15 minutes, you can have this thing mounted up and be out shooting this thing in your backyard.